daughter of Zeus and Hera, Elithia was born in a cave in Nasus Crete, a witch is her main area of worship. While her mother, Hera, dedicated herself to the take care of and protection of married women, Elithia was the goddess of childbirth and midwifery. Not only did she help in the process of the birth, but she was capable of delaying the birth as well. This occurred on two legendary occasions, the birth of Hercules and the birth of Apollo. She was also associated with the birth of Athena, which is seen by artwork. Though she was worshipped in Crete, she also has shrines of worship in Olympia, Tegea, Argos, Aegean, and Athens. Amongst the shrines were items such as expensive gold jewelry, female heads, ivory and torricado figurines of pregnant women. She also held the cow and peacock as secret animals and was sometimes depicted as two people. But this was through Homer's work and his work alone only mentioned this. She is connected with two goddesses, Artemis and Hera, two other goddesses that have roots to childbirth. Her Roman equivalent is Lucina, and her Egyptian counterpart is Tawerot. Elithia is also linked to an early Minoan goddess. She would also have two children, Eros and Sosipolis, but I did not find anywhere that she was married. Her importance in the Greek society was extreme. Midwives played an essential role in the society for women of all classes, with many being slaves. This can be seen in the birth of Hercules. Hercules' mother Alchemia was in labor with Hercules when Hera, who felt resentful for her husband's affair with the woman, set her daughter down to prevent the birth of the boy. This process would kill both mother and child. However, a loyal handmaiden of Alchemia, Galantheas, saw the goddess outside the door of the room with her arms and legs crossed. Knowing of the goddess's prevention, she screamed, A son is born. This startled the goddess, releasing her magical grip on the womb of the mother and allowing Hercules to be born. Like most Greek gods and goddesses, Aletheia took her anger out on the girl by turning her into a polecat, which is a weasel. So was this a goddess you've heard about? Where does she fit in the line of good, the bad, and the ugly? Want to support my channel? Check out my Patreon page where I create videos on cryptids, abductions, serious killers, hauntings, and much more. If you can't support me there, please like, comment, and subscribe here. I'd like to thank my supporting patron this far.